Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today is, th this video has been in the works for essentially like a year, over a year now. This has been something I've been like kind of working on. Obviously, it's not like I've been working on it like every single day of the year. It's actually more like I worked on it a lot for a period, like last year, and then I just completely forgot about it. Well, it's not like I forgot about it, it's just, yeah. I mean, nah, I forgot about it. But... Yeah, this has been like a long time due and it's not even like in the exact state that I'd want it in. But, you know, at, at my core, I'm a perfectionist. Like if you look at like some of my like very old videos, you'll see they were like very high, like high quality edits. You know, they were like, like literally like all Adobe Premiere Pro and like all these like After Effects and all that. And so like I know how to edit. Like you'll see like my videos now, they're barely edited. And because I really like for me, this... <laughs> was like kind of like a process of trying to like just break out of like that perfectionist cycle so same with this like at a certain point you just have to say like look i'm just done with this like i don't really want to like fully focus on this for like a long ass time like oh i don't know i just don't care but um yeah so essentially editing on linux is kind of a mixed bag right now i use Kden live and so far that i think that's the best editor you can get um davinci probably is good but like that's not false like Caden is false it's and it works well you know it's actually decent but um you know you can't get all the like really good editors like uh, Adobe Premiere Pro or Vegas like you can't get those on Linux um I don't think even through wine it's just too glitchy and all that so back before this was actually before I used Caden but I knew of FFmpeg which if you don't know is essentially it's more than just like it's like this whole like a like it's a bunch of tools for essentially like editing and working with videos on the command line. Like there's no like GUI to it. And one of the great things about FFmpeg is you can basically use it as an editor. Obviously it's not like an insane editor. You're not going to be doing, or at least I don't believe you can do the same things on, let's say like Adobe Premiere Pro or something like that, unless it's like very complicated commands, but you can do like cutting, you can like encode videos, like you can do like all sorts of things. You can crop videos and Essentially, you know, it's it's easy to like it's a good program, but there's a major issue is that if you look into man FM peg, it's a very it's one of the most complicated programs I've ever had to use on Linux at least. And to just to do something like change of like just to like clip a video is like FFM peg dash I dash blah 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 dash blah blah video blah, blah. like you just gotta do all this stuff and it's just it's too much. So Essentially, at the start, it was just like, okay, let me just create a script to like just make some edits easier. But then as I started evolving it, it got a lot more. So let me just, uh, let's demonstrate it. So essentially, what I've created is FF edit, you know, coming from FFmpeg. Because it's essentially just FFmpeg, but like a script version. And if we just press enter, it will show you all the things that you can do. So you can trim, you can concatenate videos, you can cut videos, you can convert videos to GIF, scale, crop, extract sound, mute entire videos, or just sections and then convert formats. And then there's also like an inbuilt update uninstall, but overall that's that's what you can do so far. And um, I'll just demonstrate it. So if we do FF edit dash T, and then we have, I have this video GNU Linux. And let's say, so that's the import. And let's say the output I wanna say is video one.mp4. And then the only thing you have to do is just make sure that the format is the exact same. But once we press enter, it'll show I just video. like to interject. So the first interesting thing is that it uses MPV. So pull up this MPV and you can see there's a video of me. What you're referring to as Linux is in fact, so it's just the like the copy pasta. And essentially how you use this is to trim a video, it'll bring up the preview. And what you want to do is you want to select the first part of the video that you want to cut. So let's say I want to cut right here at five seconds. Then what I do is I just press Q, I quit out of it. It brings up another one. So the first one, it showed that Okay, at five seconds, that's going to be the first keyframe. Then let's say I want to cut it at 20, you know. Then once I quit there, that's going to be the second keyframe. So essentially, it's going to cut from five to 20. And then now it's just going to process. And then after it's done processing, so it's encoding it right now, um, it will have us the new video. However, there's actually two ways you can do this. This is the slower way. So this is for actually encoding the video. This will give you a more precise, like accurate cut, but it will be slower and you will lose some quality. Now, in this case, you're not gonna really see it. So if we show video one, GNU slash Linux, or so you 
as I've recently taken to calling it. But you can see it just it's just the same video file. And you can't really see the quality drop because the quality of the original video was already low. Like my webcam isn't that high quality. So yeah, but you can see like the new it just it cuts like normal, like how you'd expect. Now, if we actually go to the code, just real quick. So here is the it's all bash script. It's not like Python or anything. You can see that for some of the cases, so in this case, um, for the trimming option, we have this like kind of like selectable, like choose your path. So here right now, I've got this uncommented. And this is, as it says here, the encoded slower, low quality edits are sharp and precise. Now, if I comment this out and then uncomment this one, this is the copied version. So this is faster. This retains the original quality. However, it is more glitchy. So if I save this and I go back, if I do the same edit, so I do five and I do 20 and then it's going to override, boom, it's already done. So it's, ex it's extremely fast because all it's doing, instead of encoding, going frame by frame, you know, re-encoding the video, it's literally just taking, okay, let me get the first key stamp or time stamp or whatever pull out like that section of the video and that's it. And then it creates like a new file from that. So now if we check it out, however, it's going to be a little bit glitchy. I've recently taken to, so you can see it cuts like a little like a head. And I was looking at it because for files like this, like MP4 files, it's got like special keyframes. And essentially what MP FFmpeg is doing, it's just looking at the keyframe and it's extracting as close as possible. But the thing is, there's no way to know exactly where these keyframes are placed. So if you cut it exactly at the keyframe, it will be it will be a perfect edit like you, you won't notice any like glitches like this that's why when you do cut like this um usually you get so this one was three seconds sometimes you'll get a uh, like a delay of four seconds or sometimes you'll get a delay of one second like it really like maybe you'll get lucky and it's zero or like very close to zero now the consequence is when you're looking at this on M mpv you just like it just glitches it just teleports you to the first action I've recently frame. taken to calling it but when you upload this video, and you can see this in some of my older videos where I was using this editing software, is that when you upload the video onto YouTube, the audio is still there, but the video is glitch. Like it's not like there properly. So when you play the video and it's because YouTube also encodes the video when you upload it. So when you upload it, the first couple seconds are frozen. Like it's going to be frozen, but you can hear audio because the audio is fine, but the video was cut out at the wrong time. And then once it, like the delay, the delay is gone, it reaches the first proper keyframe, then the video will be fine and the audio will be all good. But um, it is, it is like, it is something that occurs. And however, with the last like clip, it doesn't have the same thing. So when you end the video, it it's actually made use. So it ends fine. Like it just, there's no like glitch. It doesn't end like a lot. It doesn't end like at 14 or something, but um, yeah. So that is, that is that. If we look further, so this concatenate, this is, as it sounds, it actually has a, this one was quite complicated, but it works like perfectly. You say how many videos you got, you say, you input the, you know, video one, video two, up to how many videos you have, and then the output name, and it will just, it'll concatenate. Like it's as simple as that. Again, for this, there is the encoded and unencoded option. I would recommend by default, use the encoded option because even for this, I'd say like, if you're just like someone regular, then use the encode. It actually, I don't know. It depends on you. It really depends on your use case, but um, you can do it unencoded for this one as well, like where it's copied. However, it, it is more like, it's even more glitchy with uh, concat, like, cause you see it at the, like, at least with this, you only see it at the start. Like you only see when you're trimming it, like at the start, like there might be like three seconds delayed. And if you don't really care about that, then use that. I mean, it's just quicker and it retains the original quality. But if you're concatenating, when you make, the, like, when it jumps to the next video, it's just gonna be, like, very weird. Um, further, we have the cut. This is literally just trim and concatenate joined together. Like, if you, it's the same thing as trim. Like, it opens up MPV, you select this part, you select this part, it gets rid of that part, and then it joins it together. Like, I'll show you, show it to you right now. Oh, I might, yeah, it might take a bit though. It might take a bit. We'll, we'll just move on. Uh, we got convert like to a GIF format. If you got like a small like video, like I'll show you right here now before I show this GitHub repo. So if you have a video, like I've done this, this is where I use this is that 
if you got like especially like a github repo and you want to make it look cool because i've noticed like all the cool github repos always have like a gif showing the thing um you know you could just quickly like record just have a small section like three four seconds and then just convert it to a gif but um yeah then you got scale like as it's at scale crop extract sound like if you've got a podcast you want to just have the audio then that's how you can do that mute entire videos or sections again this one's pretty like modular like zero like there's this like there's a bit more to it and then convert formats now because some of these like especially like con like m and like j uh yeah like they're like a little bit maybe harder to like wrap your head around i've also included a man page so i really put work into this so if you look at ff uh, man ff edit it'll just tell you more you know some of these are pretty obvious like trim um join it'll explain a little bit more in detail um like I tell you, like okay, width, height, x offset, y offset. Um, explain like zero one and like how this is uh, to work. And yeah, essentially, yeah, it's it's small, little, like nothing complicated. Um, just kind of explaining the script a little bit more in detail. But overall, yeah, if you feel like you want to help, help me out. You know, I'm kind of done. Like I'll show you, I'll show you the Git. This is the GitHub repo. It's currently private, but I will unprivate it. Uh, before this video is released and that you know just says the same features here but here are some like future features that i wanted to add but i'm gonna be honest like i'm not gonna like personally i'm not gonna add these myself um like i wanted to make cropping like a little bit more like like you know how i'm using mpv where you could select one point and another point i wanted to make cropping like that I'm very minimalist but i don't know any program that does it like that and um to be honest like i'm just not it's not really something i'm like interested in implementing but if you guys know a program like that that you can incorporate like how i've used mpv then uh feel free to add that feature um give the option to convert anything into one format and then concatenate yeah like i don't know like some of this stuff like that stuff wouldn't be that hard layer sound file on top of video file i'm just not even sure if you can do that i'm pretty sure you can but i don't know layer pictures so that becomes more like you know like a proper editing software but again i don't know if you can do that rotate video you probably can do that but just haven't been bothered uh, change audio volume allow like again this is stuff that's possible i just i to me i don't want to do this anymore however if you are interested and you've actually you know i recommend this if you've never done any sort of um like you know some scripting you know like how you would implement this but you've never really contributed to a project i remember i did the same thing for there was this uh product that or there was this uh script that um what's this called bugs writer released called Netflix. and i remember i even i've got my version here um where it's like a script that like searches through like torrents essentially and then my version was yeah this was a little bit cringe but, <laughs> but essentially like all i did is like i just removed the emojis and i made it that you can't watch porn in it because you know let's say like you look up i remember like i had this like there was this netflix show called like made or something or, like movie but then when you type in made, because there was no like movies, like there was no specifics, like, like, I don't know if you can see it, it's a bit small, but it says movies, TV shows, document. There was no select. It's just, it was basically this just select torrent. And then you just type in the torrent you, you want. Um, so when you type it in like made, let's say you wanted to see the TV show made, it would show you like, you know, I'm sure you can use your imagination. Like, so Essentially, yeah, but this was really fun. I remember it was really fun when it was like, you know, I was checking this every single day, checking like the new updates and like trying to see, if, you know, all this stuff. Um, so, yeah, if you're interested in contributing, you know, this is a might be a fun little project. But otherwise, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I, I don't know if there's anything else I really want to show. This is just some of the code. Um, but overall, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found this useful. Please do contribute. It helps me out. Subscribe, like this video. It helps me out as well. And um, you know, turn the notification bells on. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.